Oh my god, it's here This awful time of year How I hate the snow is falling Wealthy neighbors bragging about the gifts they're getting Jack, they say, let me see your gifts now Your daddy came on clothes again And then I had a revelation This is my chance to sow the lips clean shut with fear Because this Christmas It was Christmas Eve. The Emperor was racing down the tracks with Thomas. It was only 30 minutes ago he killed Santa's clone. He was still in shock, but more determined than ever to find and kill the real Santa Claus. Well, I made it back to my office. I left Thomas at the platform. I placed the radio that I stepped on earlier on my desk along with my candy cane. I have been planning Santa's death, and I do mean the real Santa. Not his clones. I just can't wait until I get my hands on them. I will make them suffer, and Christmas will burn. <laughs> I left the broken radio on my desk and stashed my bazooka in my office and decided to go for an evening walk. I needed to think. I walked through Nampford Stronghold Town Center with my guards and approached the giant fucking Christmas tree in the center. Why did I allow this thing again? Oh yes, to give the people some false hope. This makes controlling them easier. Well, time to make a statement. I pulled out my metal lighter and lit the tree ablaze. I felt like singing. Oh Christmas fire, oh Christmas fire, how lovely your orange glow is. I was cut off by the unthinkable. Hello, Topper! Ho ho ho! He looked at my guards as they tried to pull out their weapon. He raised his hands and he released a chemical from his gloves. The Emperor's soldiers did face plants into the ground. What did you do to my soldiers? They are asleep! Ever heard of Christmas magic, my boy? I am Father Christmas! I am no boy, but a man with great power and wisdom. I have little patience. I will destroy you! A boy? What an interesting idea. Time for you to learn a lesson, Emperor. He snapped his fingers and something impossible happened. The great Emperor began to shrink and get younger as he became a boy once more. What, what is, is happening to me? Okay, listen up, little boy. You're going to go back to your office and you're going to stay there until I have time to deal with you. In the meantime, my elf will babysit you. Get back, you fat ass! Santa snapped his fingers again, and then I was in my office. I look over to notice a young man in green. Who the hell are you? I am Axel the Elf, your babysitter, remember? I don't need no babysitter. Guards! My guards came into the room and looked at me and said, can we help you, little boy? I lost it. I pulled out my laser rifle I had hidden behind my desk and shot my two stupid guards. And then, I quickly turned the rifle on the elf, but he was too fast. Give up, Emperor. Your mortal weapons can't hurt me. Mortal weapons, you say? Hmm. Thinking to myself, I needed to grab my bazooka, but this stupid elf won't stop staring at me. You're trapped, Emperor. There is no escape. Christmas magic will keep you from leaving this- He was cut off by the sound of someone walking through the door, as the elf turned around to see someone that should not be a second me. This gave me the perfect distraction. I grabbed the bazooka from where I had it stashed, and aimed it at the elf. The elf looked terrified. Hey, get out of my office, you green piece of shit! You can't do this. He will come for both of you. He will kill you. I would, I would like, like to see you try. Her. But I'm gonna I'm kill, going to him, kill first. him first. I fired the bazooka, killing the elf instantly, leaving a mess on the ground. Who are you? 
I am Emperor Chopper Pat. Who are you, little boy? And nice work, Gladys Gordon. Thanks, but that's not possible. I am Emperor Topham Hat. You're an imposter. No, I'm the real Emperor. You are just a mere clone. Clone? I do not order a clone of me made. You must have hit your head, because I ordered the clone made last night just in case Santa would try something like this. It doesn't matter which one of us is the real clone. We have to kill Santa Claus. In this, we are in agreement. Hmm. I sat there staring at the radio, tinkering with it. Then, all of a sudden, I heard a repeat of the words that Santa said to me. Did you really think you could kill Father Christmas? This was just a mere clone! How else do you think I get so many places on a singular night? I kept on hearing those words repeating in my mind, and then it dawned on me. Santa Claus has an army of clones, and most likely an army of elves as well. Interesting. We need to destroy them all to get to the real fat ass. So, we flipped the radio to the backside, looking for any information about where the radio was made. Found it. There was a stamp in the middle that says, Made in Santa's Workshop. It also includes the exact coordinates to the location of the North Pole. Well, this is rather convenient. Yes, indeed, but we need a plan. We don't have much time as the North Pole would be at its weakest point right now, with Santa's clones delivering Christmas gifts. So, they would not be at the North Pole. At least I'm hoping. Yes, you're right. I say let's gather our forces and use the helicopters to destroy the North Pole. Yes, that's a great plan. We left my office and started walking past the platform and noticed a soldier standing next to Thomas. As the two Toppums made their way through the platform, there were a few guards walking about. The snow covered the platform as it continued to fall down from the sky at an alarming rate, and the two Emperors began to shiver as it was very cold and windy out. An old steam engine can be seen nearby, covered in snow, with a smile we all know too well. Let me do all the talking as you're still young. Yeah, whatever. Hey, uh, soldier man. Uh, I need you to go grab General Ron Viper and ask him to gather some of our troops and get him to report to me ASAP. Yes, sir! Right away, sir! My guards ran off to look for the General. He must be nearby. In the meantime, I looked over at Thomas and I started to speak to my favorite engine. Sorry, old friend. You're going to have to sit this one out. Who are you? The Emperor's nephew? Don't worry, old friend. You're correct. He's my nephew. But, sorry, you have to sit this one out. I understand, sir. You give them hell for me. No one breaks our laws and gets away with it. Right you are, Thomas. Shanta will die by my hand. I promise you, Thomas. Hello, sir. Sorry to interrupt. I'm here as you requested. General? Gather our forces. We are going to war. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. We will meet you at the helicopter pad. We made our way over to the helicopter pad. This is one of the things I love about Napford Stronghold. It has so many conveniences, with at least a thousand of my soldiers stationed here at all times. The military might make it a stronghold. Napford Stronghold is more than just a military base. It's a big city with walls and guard towers. You know, it's interesting seeing you like this. Do you even remember being a child? Why do you care? You know everything I know. Of course I do, but you're just different as a boy. What do you mean? But before the old me can answer the question, General Ron Viper arrived with a ton of soldiers. Are my soldiers ready? Yes, sir. We are ready to go. But why are you bringing this boy? Does it really matter? Do I really need to explain myself to you? Am I really the one who has to answer to the one who rises and sleeps under the blanket of freedom of which I provide? No, sir. Sorry, sir. You better be sorry, or I will have your head! We left in the helicopters. My soldiers did not say anything. 
The helicopters lift off into the dead of night with no sight of the snow letting up. Pilot, input these coordinates on the future. Yes, my emperor. Okay, let's just get there. Pilot, step on it. We need to go to the North Pole fast. I was thrown back in my chair as we accelerated at speeds I did not know the helicopter could go. The other me picked up the radio in the cockpit. Patch me into the other helicopter. Yes, sir. I am on it. Hello, peasants. This is your emperor. By now you know we are going to war. But this is not just any war. This is the war for Christmas. The monster known as Santa Claus must die at all costs. These are your standing orders. However, he has an army of clones, so do not be deceived. He also has an army of elves, so do not underestimate this man. This is a perfect moment to strike, as his clones are busy. Ready yourselves. And if you have second thoughts, feel free to leave the helicopter anytime. We will not be landing until we reach the North Pole. This is your Emperor. He passed the radio over to the General. Hail! Long live the Emperor! Long live the Empire! There was silence for the remainder of the trip, but it ended quickly as we arrived at the North Pole with the screams of my men. That jolly piece of crap seen us coming, and he was firing these big candy cane cannons at us and managed to take out two of my helicopters before we could react. Luckily, these cannons were slow, and we managed to avoid most of the fire. For a moment, the men looked out the helicopter window and took in the view of Santa's town, filled with workshops, homes for the elves, and a big house in the middle of town, and a mountain looming in the distance, but with all of that, Santa's ground cannons were everywhere, and they were huge. Fire everything we got at Santa's cannons. I want them destroyed. We managed to take out a few cannons, but Santa's weapons fire was intense. We're losing more helicopters. Look! Look! By the workshop! Over there! Land! Now! Get us on the ground! Now! Perfect landing. We made it to the ground. Secure the area. Lock and load. You heard the Emperor. Get a move on. Weapons at the ready. A large crowd with pointy ears, all wearing green, began coming out of a nearby warehouse. They charged towards the Tophams and their army. I looked around. Weapons fire everywhere. My soldiers were shooting at elves. I pulled out my candy cane bazooka. Let's do this. Give me the bazooka. Why? So I can save our lives. Fine. Here. The fake me took the bazooka and opened fire, killing two elves. Stay close to me. This place is dangerous. Take this. I'm not a kid, but a battle-tested warrior. But thanks. The young emperor snatched a gun out of his older doppelganger's hands. Indeed you are. But you're different at the moment you remember that. Yeah, yeah, I know. I fired my pistol, killing many elves, but they kept coming. We are outnumbered. I cannot let this fat man win, no matter the cost. Seems like they have the upper hand on us. Got any big ideas, other me? This is when things went from bad to worse. Several of my helicopters were hit. The explosion sent me flying upwards onto the second floor balcony of what I believe is Santa's workshop. Stay right there. I will be up there shortly. Young sir, are you alright? I'm fine, other me. I, I mean, Uncle. I'm waiting for you. Nephew, are you ready for a light show? How did you sneak up on me? What do you mean by a light show? I just found another way around. Now see this switch on our bazooka? It has a label that reads Last Resort. That must be the fun setting. Show me. He quickly flipped the switch and pointed the bazooka towards the army of elves and fired. What happened next was amazing. The laser hit them, but it was more like a bomb, an energy bomb. The explosion destroyed more than half of the elf army, plus some of my troops. Shit, something's wrong. It won't fire again. There's a blinking red light. This gun must be out of power. Take it, you might be able to recharge it later. I stashed my bazooka in my coat. 
Since we have no weapons, let's quickly sneak into the workshop. The workshop was a place of luxury. It had two floors with a big open room at the center, filled with machines that made all kinds of stuff, while the Toppums continued to sneak. We noticed a Santa clone leaning over a rail with a trident in hand. Stay here, nephew. I got this. The other me quickly ran up and jump kicked the Santa clone off the second floor. The older Emperor Topham Hat knocked the trident out of the clone's hands and managed to grab it up in the same move. He launched himself over the rail and dove the trident straight into his chest, killing him instantly. I watched the old me walk into the next room, where I could hear him fighting with more clones or elves. Something hit me from behind, and just as everything went black I seen something horrible happen. Santa Claus walks into view wearing his battle suit. Stop right there, Santa Claus. General Ron Viper tried to fire his gun, but Santa was quicker and shot him twice in the chest with his shotgun, killing the general instantly. I started to look around and I realized I was tuned to a board of some sort. I could not move. What? Where am I? Where you are is not relevant. You are my prison. Soldiers are dead. And I am about to kill you. Does any of this sound familiar to you? The Great Emperor starts to remember what happened all those years ago. He is walking down a hallway with his friends dead around him. Yes, it does. I've been meaning to ask you, why didn't you kill me back then? Because, Topo, I thought you deserve a second chance to do the right thing. I was wrong. I should have killed you then. The Emperor returns to the memory of so long ago, but he is laying on the floor with Santa pointing his gun at him with his finger on the trigger. Indeed you should have. I caught out of the corner of my eye, the other me. He was gesturing that I make a distraction. What are you waiting for? Get it over then. Come on, kill me fat bastard I don't have all day. He turned toward me and started to walk forward. When fake me struck him from behind, causing Santa to fall to the ground. Hurry up, get me out of here! Hold your horses, I'm taking the keys off Santa. Other me then ran over to me and unlocked my chains. Yes, I was free, but Santa woke up. Who the hell are you? I know you're not Emperor Top of Mad. I am Santa Claus. I'm fucking telepathic. You know how the song goes. Very well, then. I am Fate. I go my many names, just like you, Crystal. Yes, I remember you, old Viking warrior. You died a long time ago. As Fate continues to talk, his suit turns from white to red, while Emperor Topham Hat looks frantically for a weapon. Then that piece of shit Destiny got in the way and gave you a second chance. Now I'm here to fix that grave injustice. Emperor Topham Hat manages to find Santa's shotgun under the board he was just chained to. You seem to know a lot about me. How are you going to do that? I don't need to do anything. I just gave him a fighting chance. Time to die, fat ash. I cocked the shotgun back and fired, but I missed. Santa Claus began moving really fast around the room. Stay still, you stupid fat animal, so I can kill you. Ho ho ho, you can't kill what you can't hit! You continue to dodge my gut. shotgun blast. The great Santa Claus began using objects and walls to avoid being shot. Topham, I have been in your shoes. I was once a king that ruled over many. I know what drives you. And what is that, Trey Stolen? Stop hiding, you rat. The Emperor keeps trying to shoot Santa. Greed, 
how these forces corrupt you absolutely. Out of nowhere, he lunges at me with a war hammer. I instantly fire the shotgun, obliterating his weapon. He was in shock, so I reacted fast. Die, Santa Claus! Die! Emperor Topham Hat went mad and shot him four to five times. Now here we are, Santa Claus. Never forget this moment. The Emperor stares at Santa Claus's lifeless body and remembers the moment Santa could have killed him all those years ago. All of a sudden, everything starts shaking. What the hell is that? Fate quickly transforms into the appearance of the Emperor's young boyish look. At the same time, Emperor Topham Hat looks around the room and realizes he's in some kind of cave. Topham, Harold is here. Not sure if any of your soldiers survive, but I have something to show you. Harold, this is the Emperor. Please stand down and land near the building. I will be out soon. Roger that, sir. What do you want, Fate? I would have you executed, but something tells me you're beyond that. Alright, you are Topham. If you look over there, you will see Santa Claus's cloning machine. The Emperor looks and starts to walk over to the far side of the cave to see a large machine with all sorts of buttons. I studied the machine. I attempted to use it, but I realized something. There can only be one Emperor Topham Hat, and that is me. I fired the shotgun, destroying the machine. I looked over at Santa's lifeless body. Don't worry, I'll finish him. All you need to do is level this building. Fate pulls out their gun from their coat. Alright, but what about you? I'm immortal, remember? I'll be fine. See you someday. I left the building. It's immediately see Harold. Good morning, sir. Ready to go? Morning already. Yes, let's get out of here, Harold. The Emperor picks up his radio and spoke. Anybody on Shodor, please respond. This is the Emperor. Keith Wickham here, sir. Keith, my loyal general. I want you to gather a search team and search the North Pole for anything useful. And let me know if you find the surreal Santa Claus's body. Yes, sir. I'm on it. Emperor Topham Hat begins his flight back to Sodor. A few hours later that morning, Topham sits in his office. Sure, Keith. What news do you have for me? Sir, we are still searching through the rubble, but we have found lots of useful weapons and tech. But most importantly, we found Santa. And sir, he's alive. Topham looked at Keith with disbelief and fear in his eyes that he hid very well. What do you mean, alive? He's in a coma. You're not sure if he will ever wake up. Keith, give me reason to keep him alive. The information he contains might be very valuable to us. Jemmet, you're right, Keith. Keep him alive and transfer him to Kildane Prison. I want full medical service for him along with several security squads, giving him around-the-clock security on his cell. Yes, sir. I'll do it right away. I want you and Gordon to go to Kildane Prison every month and make sure his prison cell says his true name. I don't want anybody to know that he is Santa Claus. This will be our little secret. Yes, sir. As you wish, my Emperor. You hear me, Santa Claus? I'll let you live. But once you wake, I will make you suffer. And you will tell me all that you know. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the end of our story. Did this tale really happen? Or are these just rumors? I guess we will never know the truth, but I would like to believe this is nothing more than just a fairy tale. But what if it isn't? My name is Gavin Fawkes. I am a storyteller, wishing you the best in your search for the truth. Good luck. <laughs>